So when you're in an interview and you get asked this question, what are operators? It's kind of a trick question. And I think what they want to hear from you isn't that you know what an operator is. They want you to actually classify certain operators. They want to see how deep your knowledge goes of what's classified as an operator. So first of all, you could say an operator is something that performs an operation on some data. And then they'll probably say, hey, give us an example. So you'll go something probably along the lines of arithmetic. So everyone knows this, one plus one, one minus one, one times one, one divided by one. Everyone thinks of arithmetic when they hear the word operator and they are their own class, arithmetic. But what you don't realize is you've been using an operator this whole time, every single day, almost every single line, and that is the assignment operator. So when you say var something equals something, you've assigned a value into that variable. So var a equals three, you've assigned three into a. Now the other class of operators is the logical operator. And this includes your if else, your for each, all those bits and pieces. So basically it's logic. I'm starting here, I'm running through some logic and I'm coming out at the end with whatever answer I'm after or whatever answer my application needs to show. So those are the logical operators. It's also like and, or, that kind of thing. Then you also have relational operators. So the simplest ones of those are less than, greater than, equal to, or not equal to. So if those don't look familiar, well, less than and greater than, everyone knows. But equals equals is a comparison. It's relational. Not equals, as in the exclamation equals, means not equals. So if B is not equal to A, then that would come out as true, right? So those are relational operators. And as far as I know, I think that's all they're really looking for is for you to categorize operators in programming.